Hi guys, this is Tom from John Master. Uh, first of all, for those who don't know me, I do aerial pictures, videos, uh, panorama photos uh, for real estate, construction sites. Uh, I sell drone parts, I build custom drones, I sell drones, I fix drones. Basically, please go to my website. It's www.aerialdronemaster.com www.aerialdronemaster.com The address is here in the description of this video. So if you want to find, uh, if you if you want to find out a bit more about what I do, please go to my website. That's gonna be a very very short video about the difference between the clockwise and counterclockwise motors and propellers, guys. When you fly in the drone, especially those racing ones, unfortunately I don't have racing one ready yet because I sold it. It is one I'm working right now. But if you fly in those racing drones, these are quadcopters or phantom ones. Soon or later you're gonna crash it. Uh, I don't think you're gonna crash Phantom that easy, but those racing quads, you're gonna crash it very easy. They are not easy to fly, uh, people just crash it because they go crazy with that. When you crash it, you have to replace the propeller. That's first which is gonna break. The frame is a carbon fiber, at least for um, those quads I bought is carbon fiber, so it's not easy to break it, but you're gonna break propellers. And when you break the propeller, you have to know which one to replace. Uh, you, can, you, you just cannot put anyone you like. There are two kinds of propellers. Uh, they're clockwise and uh, counterclockwise. Each one is different. If you miss and you install the wrong one or the wrong motor, the, uh, the drone will just flip right away. He's not going to fly. It applies to any quad. If the racing one, or the phantom one, uh, any, any quad, hexa, whatever, uh, hexacopter, octacopter, uh, if you put the wrong propeller, it's not, it's not going to work. So let's look at the difference. I'm gonna show you on the quadcopters, on the phantom uh, ZMR 250, the racing quad, uh, which one is which one? Uh, the phantom uh, pro. So they're not the same. Every quadcopter is the same. Doesn't matter if this is Phantom. One, two, three, four, four Pro is Inspire. They're all the same. You've got two, those two are uh, clockwise. They're spinning to the right. And those two are counterclockwise. They are spinning, spinning to the left. I'm just hitting the tripod here, so we're not going. <laughs> So basically, uh, when you're looking at the propeller, so that's a propeller for the racing quad. That's gonna be uh, clockwise. How do we know? When you look at the propeller, the propeller is a, is a clockwise, has to spin to the right. So the angle is lifted, it's like this. So it's grabbing the air. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe be like this right now, or like this. The counterclockwise, it's spinning to the left. So the angle is on the right side. Hopefully you see it. The same with Phantom. So let's remove the, it's gonna be easier to see on this one. So this one is a clockwise, it's spinning to the right. When you're looking at closer, so you can see the edge, which is higher, is this one. When the motor is spinning, it's moving the propeller. The propeller is catching the, catching the air. If I was spinning the other way, it's not gonna work. If you mix all of them, it's not gonna fly, it won't lift at all. So that's simple. So if you break any of those uh, propers, you have to keep in mind, those two are clockwise, those two are counterclockwise. Those two are spinning to the right. So when you're looking at the proper, the proper that is spinning to the right has the, the, the edge line here has to just catch the air. 
the same the small ones you know in the phantom what is good you won't be able to install the front uh, proper on the front motor on well, this one is easy because you, ju you just put it on the shaft so you can mix it very easy just look at the proper this left one is higher than this it goes like this so going like this is it clockwise this angle is counterclockwise so that's it if you break one proper please replace the proper one otherwise it's not going to work okay so i will just go back to work i need to finish the quad i still have to mount motors uh fpv system on it test it program it test it test fly it and guys if you have any questions uh please leave in the comments um thank you